Oh, hi. So before we begin, I just want to say thank you to everybody who was able to make it out to Mr. Furley's in Los Angeles and, and meet me. I had such an amazing time. I, I truly did. I had like the best time I've had in a, <laughs> in a very long time. And it, it, it meant everything to me. Um, everyone who showed up, Riley, Bridget, <clears throat> Christine, uh, Melissa, uh, Kevin, uh, uh, a lot of you. I can't remember. I can't remember. Thank you for bringing all your friends. Thank you just for making it not an awkward experience. It was just, you guys were just so warm and welcoming and just, fuck, like, you're exactly how I imagined you to be in real life. Just maybe not Asian or black or, you know, but that's okay. I, I thought like a lot of white people followed me, but they don't. More, can I, can I say colored people? But people, people of color, POCs. A whole lot of POCs were in the house. And I just wanna say thank you for making it just such an eventful and, um, memorable experience uh i can't i can't wait to do it again i'll be back uh by the way nayeli i will be back to la in like two or three weeks to uh continue filming the, this, this project that i've been working on uh also uh, i'll be in chicago this weekend eh, sunday I, I think i arrive on sunday so if you live in the chicago area please come hang out with me i'll have a date and a time in the next day or so so anyway just wanted to say yeah i know i'm on a tangent a rant whatever so i just this is fuck off just want to say thank you from the bottom of my empty black heart for, for showing up. I really thought, you guys, I fucking, I really thought nobody was going to show up. But you showed up. I was like, oh my God. Like that. <laughs> I love you. I love you. L listen, little bitch. We don't fuck with small talk. We associate with people that are known to call cops. See that shine from my wrist to my neck, saw rocks. Oh, all right, Tina, I got some good news and I got some bad news. What do you want to hear first? Uh, how about some good news first? Ah, some good news. Okay, you're feeling optimistic today. I like it, I like it, I like it. Uh, okay, well, today um, I learned that an entire school of piranha can strip the flesh off of a man completely to the bone in six minutes. Oh, and, uh, and a child in two minutes or less. Uh, that sounds like bad news, Darth. What do you mean? What do you mean? I don't know, that just sounds really bad, like bad news. How was that the bad news? That's not bad news, that's great news. The bad news is I lost my job at the local swimming pool. Apparently you're not allowed to bring piranhas to the YMCA. But seriously, I recommend everybody go swimming with piranhas at least once, because it's a once in a lifetime opportunity. You know what I'm saying. Did I ever tell you when I was like nine years old, my creepy uncle told me that my cousins came from an ant hole? Oh, you mean like the ones we used to step on when we were kids? We just like kick it over. <laughs> yeah, I, I, that's what I thought. I thought he meant like ants. No, mm -mm. different kind of ant. I mean, if I could just be honest with you guys for a second, hate speech, quote unquote hate speech, foul language, obscene behavior, racist and bigoted viewpoints are, are some of the main reasons why I left social media. I stopped using it because I realized I was wasting too much time posting about that stuff. And people are getting pissed at me. I'm like, no, 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 no. I, I don't date Chinese or communist bitches because that's a big red flag for me. You know, it's really awful and derogatory to call a gay man a fruitcake. I mean, how can something so pure, so sweet and so delicious be compared to a homosexual? I'll be here all night. Uh, I swear I have a point to this video. Um, so today's video, today's topic is a tragic news story. It's truly, truly awful. <laughs> I want, I want you all to imagine the worst way you could possibly die, all right? That's basically what today's story is. Yeah. Uh, I, I know, I know the title gives it away, but I'm gonna pretend that I didn't put it in the title. So without further ado, Applejack. Applejack. Oh my God, Applejack. Tina, have you seen Applejack? Huh? Oh, uh, mm, mm, no, I haven't seen him. What do you mean, no? Well, I mean like, no. Like, no, I haven't seen it. You're his best friend. <laughs> okay, okay, fine, 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 fine. Do you, do you know how to hit it? Can you hit it? All right, sweet, Applejack. Oh, sorry, my bad. Tina, hit it. Actually, don't, no. Can you, can you move over here to this side? Yeah, okay, great, 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 yeah, 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 okay, uh, up, 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 perfect, okay, stay right there. Tina, hit it! No, 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 seriously, where the fuck is Applejack? Oh, is he still in the suitcase? Oh, I never took him out of the suitcase! 
Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I'm so ah. I don't see Applejack. Oh, but I found the Savage. Oh yeah, yeah, back, back to the video, back to the video. Uh, well guys, this is, um, this is very unfortunate news. It looks like a man jumped into a lake to get away from a swarm of bees and got eaten by a bunch of piranhas. <laughs> I'm not making, I'm not making this shit up, guys. I mean, <laughs> fuck. Alright, let's read on. They say a weekend fishing trip took a tragic turn when a man drowned in Brazil after jumping into a lake to escape a swarm of bees, only then to be attacked by piranhas. Oh my god. Now, now, as as someone who lives in that area of Brazil, who has a boat and goes on the lake and fishes often, you would think they would know that there's piranhas in that lake. Now, I understand jumping into a lake to avoid a swarm of bees is a smart move. That's a smart decision. It's logical. You don't want to get stung. But I feel like they should have known that this lake is um full of piranhas. You know what? Maybe we shouldn't go swimming in that because personally, myself, I'd rather be attacked by a swarm of bees than a swarm of piranhas any day of the week. Like 10 out of 10 times. <laughs> no questions. Uh, they say the incident unfolded on Sunday at a lake on a farm in a rural area of Braslandia, Deminas, the local media reported. Um, now, according to the local fire department, the 30 year old man and his two friends were fishing at the lake when they were attacked by a huge swarm of bees, allegedly in the thousands. Now, jumping into a lake, again, is a logical move to make, but it would be illogical if you knew there were piranhas in the fucking lake. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, Jesus. Now, in an attempt to escape the bees, they say that three fishermen jumped into the lake and two of the men managed to swim to safety but their friend was nowhere to be found. The fire department was called in and an officer was about to dive into the lake when he was informed by a local that it was filled with piranhas. Now, if this local knows that it's filled with piranhas, why didn't the three fishermen or one of the three fishermen know that there's fucking piranhas in the lake? Maybe they did know and they took their chances. I don't know how close they were to uh, to the shore, but um, uh, apparently, it, it was it was worth it. Apparently, they were scared enough of the bees to jump into a lake infested with piranhas. Uh, anyways, this is just not good at all. Um, so for reference, here's an actual photo of one of the piranhas that presumably ate this this man. Um, yeah, yikes. Uh, holy fuck. I mean, I know what piranhas look like, but holy fuck. A fish with teeth scares the fuck out of me. And I'm not talking about a shark. I mean like a fish. Like a little fish that has teeth like that? No, 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 sir, no, sir. I'm, I'm fucking out of there. Now, eventually, the divers did end up finding the deceased man. The divers went in there, and they must have had something to protect them. I don't know what they had. Maybe they had like knee thrill, or like some, some crazy like chain suit, so they wouldn't get eaten. I don't know. But the, the but the divers went in and they found the man. But, uh, I will, I will spare you those details. Um. I guess in a nutshell, uh, they found a skeleton. That's what they, they found a skeleton with a little bit of flesh still hanging onto it, which is a, a pretty brutal way to go. But I mean, hey, dude, we, we, we live in a crazy world, folks. Uh, hopefully nobody gets eaten by piranhas that's watching this video. And if you do watch this video, please avoid any lakes in Brazil. Now, wasn't that just a warm, heartfelt story for the whole family? Fun for the whole family, right? No, I'm just joking. That was a tragic story. Pretty fucked up. I know. I know, it's pretty fucked up, right? Yeah. <laughs> can you imagine what it would feel like to be eaten by a, a school of piranhas? I mean, I can imagine what it would be like to be eaten in, you know, by a shark or something. Just snop. And just like, oh, there goes my leg. Oh, there goes my torso. But imagine being picked at, like, over every inch of your body. If it's, it's like, oh, no, 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 no. And all because you're afraid of bees? I mean, shit, start rowing the boat. Don't jump in the water. Holy fuck, mate. Speaking of mate, you guys know how bees have sex? Huh? They usually do it from behind. <laughs> yeah, that was not that was not good. I, I don't know. I thought it was funny when I thought about it just now, but it's really not. So moving on. You know they say certain types of bees can fly higher than Mount Everest, and I I find that um a, a little bit hard to believe, considering Mount Everest can't fly. So yeah, it was a bad joke. Fuck you. Oh, yeah, 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 you're right, you're right. Apparently male bees actually die right after they have sex. So their entire life just contains of honey, nut, Cheerios. See you later.
Thanks for the nut. I'm, I'm, I'm doing my best, guys. I'm really trying. Maybe I should start writing down jokes instead of making them up as I go. That might help out a little bit, I think. Eh, what's the fun in that? Okay, okay, I got another bad joke. You want to hear it? What do you call a bee that can't make up its mind? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Woo! Oh yeah, that's right. There was a rare breed of bees found in South America that actually produce milk. You know what the natives call them? You'll never guess. Boobies. <laughs> I'm so fucking stupid. <laughs> You know, the other day I was crossing the street when I saw my ex get run over by a fucking bus. And I thought to myself, whoa, oh my God, that could have been me. And then I, you know, I realized, I remembered that I, I don't know how to drive a bus. So it just wouldn't be possible, you know what I'm saying? And that about wraps up all I have to say on this topic. Thank you so much for tuning in. I do appreciate you. Appreciate you hanging out with me. I appreciate the view. And as always, until next time, don't you dare forget to pull out. And remember to like, share, subscribe, hit the bell, go to my merch store or my Patreon because I'm fucking demonetized. <laughs> and don't worry, I got more Amber Heard content coming real soon. Mm, really soon. I mean, everyone else is just so good at getting to it before me. I just, and I've been busy for a week, but you know. Life happens, shit happens. Don't worry, I got Amber news coming. Don't you worry. Yeah, and Johnny news, thank you. And, jo and some Johnny news. So, uh, stick around, subscribe. You might like what you see. Or not, you know, who fucking knows? I don't know, I got no idea. I'll see you later. Anyways, my broskies, I gotta bounce. Bounce on your boy's dick. Hey, got him.